What's up everyone? We are back with another taste test video. Today we're going to be tasting some exotic jerky and this is going to be really exciting because I've tried some of these back in the day just myself. Some of these are good but also some of these are new to me as well. Yeah, let's just get right into this. <laughs> So up first is going to be venison, um, pretty standard one, not too exotic. I'm going to see if I can open it up by just ripping it, if not I do have scissors on standby. This was actually way easier to open this time than it was last time. Uh, most of these are going to be from a company called Buffalo Bob's, which specialize in exotic jerky. Some of these are going to be from other companies as well, I think one or two other ones. Um, so yeah. Some very, very cool ones, but we're gonna start off with venison here. Do you wanna take the first bite? It actually smells pretty good. So. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, oh yeah, this is peppered jerky, which I'm a huge fan of, so. Hmm. It's good. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna rate these best to worst. There's nine total. Our first one here, we're gonna rate saying it's good, <laughs> obviously. Yeah. Uh, next one is gonna be a new one for me. Um, I've had buffalo before, but this one here is chipotle flavor. <laughs> chipotle and garlic flavor, and it does say spicy. Okay. So we're gonna give this a try. Hmm. Softer? Tender, yeah. Wow. Like butter. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It said it was spicy. I'm getting no spice. No. Zero. Um, chipotle flavor, not really. Uh, garlic flavor, it does taste garlicky, mm -hmm. which I love. And I've never had this flavor before. I've had other buffalo, but whenever I've seen this one, I wanted to give it a try. It's not spicy to me, so I'm going to say kind of misleading. In my opinion, it's worse than the peppered venison one. Would you agree with that? I don't know. I kind of like it. I like that it's like really tender. Yeah. Um, to me, I would say it's better. It's better? Yeah. All right, we're gonna put, we're gonna tie it. Tie, yeah, we're gonna, that's fair. We're gonna tie that's it for fair. now, just because um, I'm sure it's gonna be beat by something. Uh, next, we have wild boar, which I remember as being really gamey. I'm gonna say this one's an easy, uh, I'm gonna say it's below the other two. Um, just cause it's not, it's not one that I would prefer to get, and mm -hmm. I don't normally get barbecued flavored jerky anyways, but the barbecue flavor I did like compared to other jerky mm -hmm. barbecue flavors, but still not a fan. Uh, so next we have Hickory Smokes Elk, okay. which I don't think I had this exact flavor before. I've had elk. Way softer though. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's better than the uh, peppered venison and the garlic buffalo one? I'm kind of leaning towards yes myself. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Normally hickory, sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes I find hickory flavored stuff, it's too hickory. And then that just results in whatever it was, whether it's a chip or a jerky or whatever, it coming out gross. But this actually comes out really good. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice flavor. smoky taste. I'm going to say that's good. Uh, the next one is from a company called Indian Valley. Uh, it's from Alaska. And this is going to be reindeer meats. <laughs> now about this company, I've tried this company before. Um, it was sold out this time. I wanted to get it so Ashley could try, and that was salmon jerky. I don't like salmon. I don't like fish. Hate it. But the jerky tasted good. So unfortunately, they were sold out. Maybe in the future, but this one's really hard to open. It won't tear. So luckily, we do have scissors next to us here. All right, so Ashley's going to give it a try here. Right. It might be a different texture. Ooh. It's a different company. It might be harder. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And this might be what uh, broke one of my teeth back in the day. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> wow. I can barely chew into it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if this has a flavor. It tastes plain. But you're basically tasting the reindeer. I'm going to say it's below everything else. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, the meat surprisingly tastes amazing. It's just so tough. 
That's not a good experience. If that makes sense, right? Yeah. Yeah, the meat tastes fine, but I prefer the jerky more tender. Not yeah. like super chewy. Yeah, me too. I'm the exact same way. Um, so now we're going to be trying some of the more exotic flavors that some of them are the ones that worry Ashley. <laughs> I absolutely love them back in the day. Hopefully I continue to, but next is going to be alligator, yeah. which you guys can kind of see. It's not as dark as all the beef jerky or the other jerkies. So yeah, this one is Cajun style. It's going to have a spice to it. And I think that's why I absolutely loved it back in the day. Cajun flavor is amazing though. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not the last one because that's, it's actually pretty good. Surprisingly. <laughs> My mouth's on fire. Like that flavor, like that's what the spicy chipotle one should have been yeah um I'm, it's it's above the i think it's above the elk yeah i yeah. i think it is too mm -hmm. so i'm I think, gonna put uh, it second place maybe so that's behind the elk elk was first place oh okay so you think it's second place second. i'd honestly agree with that yeah 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 it has a nice burn a nice flavor a nice texture i will say a lot of these are softer uh than they were last time which hopefully that means they're fresher. Next up is another one that I absolutely loved back in the day. And that is kangaroo. So this one here, um, it doesn't really say a flavor, so it might just be tasting like the kangaroo meat more. Not too tough though. No. Not like butter like some of the others, but easy to pull apart. Wow. Yeah. Kind of makes me feel bad. <laughs> well, Wow. That is really good. The flavor of the kangaroo, because there's no seasoning on this one. There's no flavor on yeah. it. You're just tasting the kangaroo meat as the main component. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, it tastes really good. So mm -hmm. I kind of want to put this first place right now, but I don't know. The elk was still really good and yeah. that was a really nice flavor. So I'm would you tie it for second place or would you tie it for first place? I I'll let you I decide. I say tie it for first. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, we do have two left. One of them is one that I've never tried before, which Buffalo Bob's did add. But before we do that one, which I'm really excited about, next we're going to do ostrich. Ooh. Yeah. I don't remember this one at all. There was a duck one that I wanted to try, but it was sold out. Never tried the duck one from Buffalo Bob's. So uh, this one is hickory smoked though, just like our first place one, the elk. It smells like a weird hickory. Not the same hickory as the elk. No. Like flavor of the hickory is different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it somewhere in the middle, honestly. Yeah, the middle. But um, I can tell that the mm. the meats, I'm not really a big fan of the meat flavor. Yeah, it's more of the flavoring that it makes it taste good. The meat itself doesn't make it taste good. I'm actually okay putting it at last. Where would you rate it? Um, What did we have at last again? Last is just the reindeer because all you taste oh, is the reindeer. Right. Um... No, I'd say it's second last. Second last? That's yeah, fair. Yeah, the reindeer. No. Uh, we do have one last one here, and this is camel. <laughs> um, this one here... Oh, this one doesn't actually have a flavor. So it's going to be more of the camel um, forward. So... I don't know. The kangaroo one, yeah. just the kangaroo, What's is really uh, right now tied for first place. But the reindeer one, the Alaskan reindeer one is last place so this could sit anywhere i was gonna make a joke and say it smells like sand but <laughs> <laughs> hmm better than the reindeer better than the reindeer yeah but which is last place so i mean doesn't say much but that's different <laughs> that's the first one i had to take a side bite just to make sure i said the right thing yeah um maybe i should too Cause it's really different. It tastes. Let's see. It's a different kind of meat altogether than I've tried ever. Mhm. Mm I've never tried anything that tastes like this. Like it's firm, but not tough. Mhm. Mm and the flavor surprisingly tastes good. Mhm. Mm I'm not gonna rate this first place. I'm gonna say this to me is third. Third. Yeah. yeah. Third. Third. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna say third, like it's good. It just doesn't beat first or second place for no. us. Yeah, it's almost so different that you just don't know what to say about it. 
Yeah, like it's 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 so describe unique. Describe it, yeah. yeah. It's unique. So we have put them in order from best to worst. Worst right now is going to be this Alaskan reindeer. It would be okay if it was from the same company, but it's super super tough, really hard to chew, yeah. and for that reason, like the flavoring is a little off putting as well. And there's no seasoning, there's no barbecue or occasion or anything. That's why it's last place. So that one there is our worst rated one. Our third place for the best jerky is going to be camel. And our second place is the Cajun alligator, which is really good. And our first place, we actually have two tied for first place because both were so, so good. And that is going to be the hickory smoked elk. And the kangaroo, which has no flavoring. I'm actually really surprised mm -hmm. that something that has no flavoring we put to first place. But the meat just tastes phenomenal to it me. It does, yeah. I'd recommend that, and I absolutely love that. That is by far the best one, but this one here is also first place, and it's a nice hickory smoked flavor. Either one of these, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, what do you think about all of these jerkies? What is your overall thoughts on them. Did you like them? Or? Yeah, overall, um, I'm surprised. I went into this thinking like, I don't know, like, I'm scared. <laughs> but uh, no, yeah. overall, all of them were like pretty good. The yeah. only only one that was like iffy was the uh, reindeer. Yeah, that one. Like, it's also a different company, yeah. so it's a different formula of how they make the jerky, which I understand, but still. But yeah, even, still, even that one was like, it wasn't the worst. Yeah. Like, worst, worst that I've probably that we, we've had it's yeah. the worst that we have for this video, this video exactly. <laughs> but it's not the worst jerky yeah. we've we've ever yeah, had for so. sure so um absolutely love these if you guys want to see more jerky taste tests from us or other taste tests in general let us know down below we definitely want to do more stuff like this we love mm -hmm. jerky um we're actually thinking about experimenting and making our own jerky mm -hmm. and doing that i think that would be awesome to try to do that but comment down below what you guys think and have you guys tried Buffalo Bob's? If not, go on Jerky Dynasty, check them out. I live in Canada, so shipping was a lot more for us and the conversion rates. But if you live in the US, it'd be obviously a lot cheaper for you. Highly recommend checking them out. Jerky Dynasty, Buffalo Bob's, you can get them there. It is amazing. But we're going to leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.